process. Now everyone's talking about process. Everyone before was just trying to pump and dump and trying to figure out what the years, guys. All these years, people are asking me why, what was your secret about being so consistent, right? It was process, guys. The moment that we talked about process, everyone's like, oh shit, that's right. It was building a repeatable, scalable system. Let me walk outside. It was, I should use this more often. Huh? A nice little, little spot here. Walking every day, guys. There you go outside. I, I, I prefer my office. <laughs> Still not ready, it's not crap all over the place. But process, guys, repeatable, scalable process. That is the secret to trading. The, the secret to trading is not making one time big giant PLs like some of these guys think. They brag, they brag, and I just laugh and laugh. You know, the, you know, they, they make money on one day, they lose money the next day. That's not the way you are supposed to trade. <laughs> Well, you can trade if you want, if you're a gambler, right? That's, that's basically the gambling mentality. So we created this whole concept called the process, and now everyone's implementing that type of mindset when you trade. It's not about the one-time P&Ls. It's about being able to make that P&L over and over and over again. I mean, I, I'm pretty, I mean, I, I don't wanna jinx myself, and I don't wanna be an asshole, but uh, when was the last time you lost, Alex? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's been a while since we had a red day, right guys? Um, we did fantastic today. Yesterday was fantastic. Alex made one hundred five thousand dollars yesterday. I thought, you know, I thought I did well. He did me did super well. You know, um, you know, he happened to trade a Robin Hood, which is great. I didn't. Yeah, it's been weeks, Alex. I mean, dude, I can't. Even, I mean, when we lose, it's not even big. That's the thing. I mean, people, I, 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 I still to this day, people still say you're a fraud. There's no way trading is gambling. You're making up P&Ls. I'm like, dude, I guess I'm sitting here every day with 2,000 people in, in the MIC chat room making up fake charts. I, I think I have, a, I have an assistant, right? I think I have an assistant that goes and, and draws up Photoshop charts for me every day. I mean, we post our charts every day, guys. I mean, there's nothing to hide. I mean, the, I mean, James, James, when was the last time you lost? So Alex lost weeks ago. James, James is one of our moderators. So he came and he, and he, now he's a consistent, profitable trader, right, James? James, when was the last time you lost? And when you lose, it's like, it's a day of losses, two days max. I mean, some of these guys are losing like millions of dollars and hundreds of thousands. I mean, I mean, dude, that's not the way we want to teach guys. Um, uh, I see James here, so I want to ask him like, um, Mr. James, uh, when was the last time you lost, James? I mean, you saw, I mean, you, you pretty much see it, man. The consistent traders at MIC. So James lost two, three weeks ago and it was 200 bucks. <laughs> I lost more at the bar. <laughs> um, I mean, so I mean, that, I don't know what else to tell you guys. The process, the MIC process works. The reason it works is because of this. It is based upon proven winning strategies that we've developed across decades. I mean, and we have the rules around it. It's not just the strategies, guys. I can tell you the strategies, but if you do not understand the, the MIC process on how to implement those strategies, you're, you're lost, okay? I, I, it basically, strategy is like a tool. Okay, I'm gonna give you this tool. How do you use that tool? I can give the hammer to a gorilla. He'll either hit you with the hammer or hit himself. It depends on, you know, if he knows how to use the proper tool, right? So same thing, uh, it's also risk management. We were the first to start talking about risk management. Now everyone's talking about risk management. We talk about max daily loss, uh, hard stops. People before they had this idea about hard stops, the market makers are hunting me. I, I don't give a shit about you two to shares, to be honest, guys. You think you're a big fucking size trader? You're fucking nothing. You know, I mean, even if you're trading fucking like millions of dollars of stock, that's nothing compared to, you know, the, the billions of dollars traded a day on that stock, guys. So stop thinking like that they're out to get you. You know who's out to get you? You are out to get you. It, it, when you it's basically just like you thinking that you are smarter than everybody else 
and that the only reason you lose because this is someone else's fault. So basically, bottom line is MIC works. The reason it works is we're all fucking humble guys. I mean, we. <sighs> I don't even post what I make, I and mean, I do well. I, I do well. I mean, Alex does. The, the the best the best brag for me is seeing the students make money. Alex is making huge amounts of money. Members, James is making tons of money. He bought his dream car last year. He bought an i8 BMW. Congrats again! I I hope you're still enjoying that car. I mean, people that really truly want to learn make it work. They made it work in 30 days. And I want to bring in a, a person. Um, so this is the reason I called this IG Live, guys. Uh, we love, we love it when members study hard and dedicate their time and their their resources and just do just just being a family environment, which is MIC, right, guys? So where are you? Where are you at, Nancy? Her name is uh, Girls That Trade. Girl That Trade. This is this is great. So it doesn't matter if you're male, female. A, an 18 year old kid in high school, like some of the guys in MIC is kicking ass. I bet you our 17, 18 year olds in MIC will out trade many of you other guys on Twitter. <laughs> I guarantee you because they're following the process. So I'm just waiting for, for Nancy. Her name is Nancy and I want to make a huge announcement. The girls that trade. I mean, this, this is a phenomenal. I mean, I've seen her work so hard. Here we go. Girls that trade view requests. I actually never met her. Oh, hey. This is the very first time I've seen you. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're really a girl that trades. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> because, you know, online, to be honest, like online, a lot of, they're, I don't want to be, like, sound creepy, but there's a lot of guys that pretend to be girls. And so when I see such a great, like, aggressive go-getter like dude you, you you made it happen you basically went to mic studied read read um watched all the videos started making comments on the videos and started to take it into your own hand and made stats about it so let me tell let me have you introduce yourself first to everybody then we'll get into why you're here because i mic fucking loves you mic thanks you and this is why we want to give back and thank you so uh everybody this is nancy i'm gonna let her introduce herself I'm Nancy. Hi, everyone. Girls Trade 2. And, uh, you know, I'm so grateful that you invited me to come on today to um, this Instagram Live. I just wanted to add something really important to what you said already about process and risk management. And it's more even so about the community that you've built here. This community is what keeps everybody going and keeps us in check with our risk management and you know without that feeling of being with like-minded people that are really passionate about this trading you're gonna go nowhere and and you guys built this here you are making tons of money as you've described today on this instagram live and yet you give of yourself all day long all of you all the mods that are making all this money they don't what do they need to be here for answering DMs all day long and spending all of your time in the room teaching us. It's your, your passion is just unbelievable. Well, and now you're Na 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 Nancy, can... Nancy, now you're one of us. <laughs> so we, uh, we put on Nancy the, the junior mob position because of, of that mentality. I mean, basically our whole thing is when we kind of make it, I mean, I, I never, I like hate using that term, but you know, we made it in terms of, we understand the stock market better than most people do now, right? And so now it's kind of like, I wanted to spread the knowledge to everybody. And now it's, I call it pay it forward. I've been doing this for like two decades of paying it forward. So, you know, now you're, you're, you're paying it forward. You're, you're helping other people. And so Alex, I mean, Alex brought um, you to my attention, but when he goes, my God, she's helping so much. You have, so tell us, like where you live and your your uh, background, because you, you you have a degree in like analytics, so it's very 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 cool. Uh, I'm actually a nurse practitioner, <laughs> but okay. um, you know I have two masters and a PhD, so I've done, I've done my <laughs> dissertation. Uh, education is my thing. I love to be educated, and you know that's kind of why I've I've um, been so involved with doing these notes from the videos. Is like that's how I learn. And um, 
I think it's just a wonderful way to expand my knowledge, you know, in nursing. That, so where, where, where do you live? I live in New York. New York City, okay. So tell us your degree. So it's time for you to brag about all this because you know what? I love education. I mean, um, I'm an Asian, obviously. So <laughs> Asians love education. This is the reason why we, we, we created MIT to educate others. So I would love to hear your background. Other people, because, you know, we see names on the screen. All we see is numbers and charts and stock stuff. We never see the individual. So I love coming to Instagram Live because this is the first time I see face-to-face -face people I've talked to for years online, never see them, right? So social media is great in this aspect. When you use social media for the, for the betterment of society in terms of getting to know people on a personal level, seeing face to face is totally different. Like my idea of what you looked at, I thought you were Asian, by the way. I actually thought you were Asian. <laughs> I don't know how that came to me because I'm like, this, this girl is so, so like organized and diligent. She must be like Faye's sister. We have another a female called Faye. Uh, her name is Faye. And she did, she, you know, um, she used to do a lot of great things, you know, but now she's busy with work, obviously. But, uh, so I thought you were Asian for some reason. So uh, why don't you brag about your, uh, who you are and your education? I'd love to hear what uh, about all of that. I'm not really much of a bragger, honestly. But, uh, you know, I'm a professor. Um, I teach nursing now. Wow. And that's probably why I do, do um, such an extensive job on the notes. Um, you know, it I makes total sense. Like, they're, they're fantastic. Oh, my God. We are we actually not worthy. I feel I feel so insecure now. <laughs> you, you got a PhD and master's and you're a real college professor. I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> but what you know, in nursing, I'm able to, you know, I have this intuition where I can look across a room and know which patient is sick and which patient needs help right away. And I'm trying so hard to build that intuition in training and I think by writing these notes from the uh, educational videos that you all put out is what's um, making me a better trader. So in helping others, I'm actually also helping myself. Um, I'm so appreciative of um, you know, having the opportunity to be here and honored and uh, humbled that um, you had invited me on today. So thank you. We, uh, we are, we, trust me, we are the ones that's being humbled right now. Everyone's like, whoa, we didn't know. We're gonna start calling you a professor now. <laughs> the professor, <laughs> right? That, that's a cool nickname for you. You know, this is a, we're very honored. We're, I mean, I, how did you find MIT? Tell us, tell everybody like, how the process started. How long you've been trading? How do you even get to where we are today? Well, I like to call myself a COVID trader, <laughs> but in actuality, I um, had always been in, interested in trading since I was in high school, and um, school always came very easy to me, and I used to tutor all of my friends, and um, one of my friend's fathers was on Wall Street as a trader, and after I graduated, he kind of tried to recruit me to become a trader, and my parents were like, you can't do that. No, <laughs> That's no, gambling. No. You are too emotional of a, a person. You know, you're spending somebody else's money. If you should lose that money, you're going to be too upset about it. You're going to never be able to separate yourself. You can't do that. You need to go into the caring profession, which is what I did. Nursing. <laughs> and then uh, eventually with, with COVID, of course, like many, I became even more interested in trading. And I, um, you know, I went back to the bedside in the emergency room to, I wanted to do my, my share for, for COVID. And um, I said to myself, you know, after seeing all that death, and it gives you a new perspective on life and the importance of uh, being happy and doing things for yourself. So after that, I said, you know what, I'm going to spend some of that money that I did make um, going back to the bedside for that time period. And I'm going to teach myself to trade. Wow. Uh, like many people here, I found all those free places on the internet because there's tons of them out there. And I said, you know, I'm a professor. I could teach myself. What do I need to, you know, have anybody teach me for, right? And I was in many, many rooms, some good, some not so, so good. And, um, you know, I was trying to teach myself, but never really um, getting any consistency. And... Um, but I did meet some friends and uh, one in particular really kept saying and really, really saying, you have to invest in your 
education. You have to invest in your education. Take that money and invest. And I said, I'm not going to spend money on more education. <laughs> you, do you already got a PhD, a master's, and a nurse <laughs> degree. But I said, I said the dreaded thing. I said, once I make money, <laughs> once I make some money, <laughs> then I'll, I'll look into a seeing if, you know, if I can do that. But I still wasn't getting any consistency. And then at Christmas, you guys offered that 50% uh, discount. And I said, let me just give it a go and, you know, see what this is all about. And, um, you know, I said, oh, I'll, I'll join for a month and I'll watch all the educational videos. I'll get that training because, you know, I'm gung ho. I can do this. And um, once I got in and realized there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, <laughs> that there was no way I could do it in a month. I um, just said, I have to stay. And then it was the community that kept me. I immediately felt like family. Um, and I felt that passion from everybody that was in there. And it just, it just keeps you. It just keeps you. You can't leave once you, once you feel that community uh, and that you feel like you could reach out and ask anybody anything, any time of the day and that they answer. Where do you know that the boss, the CEO of a company, can that you can just have direct contact with them? Who's who's the boss? I have no idea who he is. Is that Alex? <laughs> I said James. <laughs> all of you, all the mods, you know. I, I think I think um, yeah. That that's the thing. It's like it's weird because I don't. We don't really consider ourselves like the boss because it's it's all member driven as well. That's the key. Members. The whole point is members helping members. So I think that's the that's the uniqueness that we offer. Because I've been in, I've been around for a long time. I mean, I may look young and stuff, but uh, <laughs> actually, I'm a dinosaur. Um, I've been from the inception of the very one of the very first trading chat rooms in MIRC, you know, things like that. And that and and one thing I saw is the fact that everybody was so competitive and they didn't want to share anything. They thought that just because they shared information that it would hurt their own trading. And so I wanted to create a community where, you know what, man, that, that billions and trillions of dollars being traded. They, they don't really care about your $500. Right? And so we wanted to share, have a sharing aspect. And so that's why we had no pumps. You saw that, right? No one's pumping any stock like any other room. It's, the, it's like, I hate that. To the moon, to the moon. I hate that, right? Um, and that people are sharing their information. And that's that makes it the the in my opinion the greatest feeling is when that's the family. Family want to help. Each, families want to help each one another. I'm not here just to get rich and then watch you not get rich. We all eating together. And so you know, is like I I share my charts. Alex, all the mods, even the members are sharing the charts immediately after they make the trade. And the reason we do not alert before because I don't want anybody to copy. I don't want anybody to lose. I want you to learn. By looking in real time, you learn. You're a force to learn. And we share all the information we have, like all the filings and what we really think. So this is – so it's kind of good and bad. It's bad in the sense of it's hard to grow business for money, monetization like that because people want to get rich quick, right? They want to learn. They want to be pumped. They, they're, they're lazy. And so uh, as real educators like ourselves, we this is – you know the education market is not where the money is. Yeah, education is tough. <laughs> I mean, I, I, we are not making money. I mean, people think I'm making millions of this. I, to be honest, I can make it, but I, we don't. I mean, we give it all back. We, we just want to, to train people. because We do well. Because I do well trading on my own. Alex does well. People do well. We make more than enough money to live a very comfortable life without MIC. So if this is our passion project. It just so happens when we launched it, people, there's a lot of people out there like us. So MIC is definitely a passion project. And as we grow, we are always looking for great people like yourself, Nancy. So I love the fact that you're here. That you're, you, you basically fit exactly our, our mindset, our mentality, our soul. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, you're a caring, good person. I love it. I, I'm so glad. I, I'm surprised I haven't talked to you before, but Alex talks to you a lot, right? So this is great. So I love it. Uh, so talk about your, your, your training. So how's it going? Good, bad? I mean, um, how's it progressing? Um, I'm, it's great. I've, I'm consistent. I still trade very small, um, but 
I'm consistent. You're, you're consistent now. Oh, wow. So you were not when you started, right? Not at all. Not at all. Until that friend kept saying, invest in your education. And I finally took that leap. Now wow. I have consistency. So tell us, uh, what, what are you trading? What are you learning? What is your style? What is your strategy? So how can people get to where you are right now? Uh, I'm long biased. And pretty much most of my money is made on first bounce. Uh, that Great. Is the best strategy. And uh, your risk management, like you all preach every day, is key. I, I make sure that my, my losses are small. You know, you, you're going to have losses. It's just part of the, the nature of trading. But as long as you keep them small, you know, my, my wins are better than my losses. And... They add up, right? If, if, if you do not have some crazy swings and losses, they add up very quickly. I mean, what is small to you may actually be someone's dream, right? Because <laughs> we always say $200 a day supplemental income is 50000 a year. I mean, I'm pretty sure you do well, but there are people out there that would love just to make that, right? So, so our small is all relative. Like my small is... You know, I think I'm small, but Alex thinks he's small, you know, so uh, it all depends, right, guys? So the, the, the key is the blueprint, which is the process to make $1,000 a day begins with $100 a day, $50 a day. So now that you are consistent, it's up to you to get comfortable to a point where you're sizing up a little bit each time. And then, you know, that, that's all it is, is, the comfort zone. Some people don't need to size up. I don't recommend everybody size up. You know, you are, if you're happy where you are, you're fine. To be, to be honest, I'm happy where I am. I don't need to be making 100000 a day, you know. If I could just, you know, maintain my lifestyle, whatever it may be. So that's the thing people don't understand. Trading, trading can be super good and it can be super bad. It, 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 it killed me back in the day when all I was chasing is money. is an endless game, right? You make more and more and more as an empty thing. So, so giving back at being an educator, that, that, was, that was my – that was my saving grace kind of thing, you know? So I'm, I'm glad that I met you. You're a nurse. Unbelievable. So, guys, I guess uh, don't, <laughs> you'll be getting a lot of questions about health now, I guess. <laughs> we have doctors in the, uh, in, in the club as well, Dr. Ahn. Now you have a Professor <laughs> Nancy. So that is amazing, guys. So um, anything else you want to add? I mean, Nancy, Nancy, dude, she was phenomenal. She, she gathered the stats for the uh, – Watch list. Talk about that real quick. Uh, what what'd you do for the watch list and the staff that you came up with? So um, I decided, you know, I noticed that the watch list each day is you know, pretty, pretty accurate. Just watching it over time, even though, um, you know, I haven't necessarily been trading the things that were on the watch list. I did decide to, you know, do some data analysis on it as, you know, as a researcher myself, I, I am very comfortable with data analysis and, um, when I did the first month of August, I mean, July, sorry, I was very, very, very impressed with the, the accuracy and, uh, you know, reported on it. And now, of course, I'm refining that over time to um, include a little bit more structure as to how I'm going to code that. But with Alex, with an 88% accuracy rate, and uh, Tom, I believe, was 90 or 91%. Ooh, Tom beat you, Alex. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> That's awesome. You know how awesome that is? <laughs> when members do better than us, that, that is phenomenal, guys. That, that's what we love to hear. So, I mean, it, it works. So, the watch list can be used. So, we put out the watch list so that you can reverse engineer and to learn on how we came upon those lines, those entries, those exits. So as a long bias trader, you can also use the watch list to know the areas, the lines of where you should be selling. Because when it comes up there, you know we will be shorting it. And if we are shorting it, other top traders are shorting it there, which is also top algos. So if we are making 91%, 88% accuracy, you know where the algos are. They're right there with us. So. You know, they're smarter than us. So, so this is – so, Alex, step up your game, brother. Step up your game. <laughs> it's so impressive. But now I've, I've received so much feedback from the members in the room uh, about continuing it. So, of course, I'm going to continue doing this. But uh, it's almost like uh, curious to see what August is going to bring now. <laughs> this is amazing. So anything else you want to add? You can talk about anything you want, Nancy. This is your stage right now. So I thank you very much.
I, I just want to say I'm so grateful for finding your community and I cannot believe what you've built here. It's um, just amazing. And everybody should, should be part of your community. Honestly, it is, it is the place to be if you are learning to trade and not even if you're learning to trade, but if you're a trader and you're looking for community, this is the community. Where else could you go and have movie night and, um, you know, see what people are cooking for dinner every night and, you know, seeing what Tay's growing on her farm. It's just an unbelievable community. Um, and I right away felt at home and I'm so proud to be part of it. I, I think MIC has helped a lot of people in terms of personal connection because during COVID, everyone's at home, right? We're stuck at home for two years now. Two years almost, right? Stuck at home. Not not talking to anybody. So when I was a trader back in the day, which is still today, <laughs> uh, I never saw anybody. This is my office. I'm just I'm just by myself. I mean, can you imagine just uh, no human being should be by themselves like this. It just messes up your mindset, right? And so you everybody wants to talk to someone. So having community, I'm telling you, it's just it's it's not just about trading. It's about human connections. So especially during COVID, you know, it's like it just. I have people that just join MIC not to even trade, but to maybe meet friends, you know, or, or just to have a network to talk. I have a lot of people like that, too, because, you know, it's like, where can you meet like-minded people like yourself? It's very hard nowadays to meet people like ourselves. Where do you go, right? Especially, at, uh, you know, like our age, I'm not going go to the, we're not gonna go to the bar, right? <laughs> Something like, right? <laughs> you going to go to the bar and pick up friends, right? I mean, uh, or the club. So, but where can we meet, like, professionals that – that basically have the same common interests as us. So this is the greatest, in my opinion, the greatest social network type of environment. It weeds out everybody that's not like us because every community has an aspect, right? A character. And so if you don't match that character, you, you are basically, you know, you, you leave. So it kind of filters on its own. So, you know, we, we, you see it's weird, right? We don't brag much. You don't see people saying, was it bad? It's kind of, you know, we, we, we make our trade, we move on, we help people. Because you know, we have respect. Because you know, on the, if I make money shorting, Alex makes money shorting. Someone's losing that money. <laughs> you know, it could be a member, or whatever. So you have to, you know, be conscious of that, right? So we're, we're you know, the best thing you do is help someone else. Uh, and and that, you have a tab, Nancy. I do, but he's um, sort of ditching me because he's moving to the short side. <laughs> oh, who's your tab? I don't worry. I think you're gonna have like a thousand request to be a tab now <laughs> uh so this is great guys so nancy is now um uh, anything that you we can help you with nancy let us know thank you very much for coming on i don't want to waste anybody's time anymore but this this is amazing i first time i met you i this you're even better than i thought <laughs> you're a wonderful person so thank you very much a uh, big round of applause for her because she's helping covid she's on the front lines of covid as well guys I mean, I, I don't know what to say. You, you, you need like a humanitarian award. <laughs> Maybe we should start one of the awards for our community. The humanitarian of the year right there, Nancy, Professor Nancy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate being part of your community. So. Thanks. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Uh, there you have it. Thank you. I want to introduce the, the newest moderator to the MIC family. Thank you, Nancy. Appreciate you. it. All right. See you back in the room, guys. Okay. Bye, guys.